It's a wonderful day to wander local, and today we have a really fun adventure, except we're running late. It is around 8.15. We have to leave in a little over an hour to catch our bus to Andorra. And if you're not familiar with Andorra, Andorra is this tiny little country situated between Spain and France, and it is the 16th smallest country in the world in terms of size, and it is the 11th country in terms of population, with a population there of less than 80,000 people. So it's really, really tiny, and it's, uh, it's in, situated in the Pyrenees Mountain. I believe 90% of the country is covered in mountains. So this should be really, really, one, pretty, and two, interesting. No more talking, we gotta pack. We gotta pack, okay, we're packing. All right, the plan is to just bring this backpack Boop, and Dash's running stroller because we still want to run while we're there. And boop, Dash, of course. Right, buddy? <laughs> You're coming too. Andor, here we come. Do you probably already said that we're only, we're trying to only pack one suitcase. So we have these little bags from where Dash's toys actually came in that I'm going to use as like packing cubes because right now our backpack has gotten a little out of hand um, as far as stuff just being straight up everywhere. All right, we are surprisingly, I know you're going to be shocked by this, on time. And as a matter of fact, we're a little bit early to be honest with you. Um, since we're packing so light. Relatively. Relatively light. Yeah, relatively light. We're having to wear all of our warm clothes, like multi layers of jackets, because in Andorra, it's gonna be it's cold. gonna be a little chilly. It is in the Pyrenees Mountains. So the unfortunate thing is, it's warm here. We're probably gonna sweat a lot getting to the bus, and then you know, hopefully, the bus will have some good air conditioning, and then we'll shed all of our stuff. Dash, on the other hand, loves the cold. He's super excited about it, and we're gonna have to try to keep him closed, even though the temperature's gonna drop. So that'll be the struggle. We brought the hat and we, all the socks. All the socks, all the hats. We'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll actually keep them on. Okay, so it looks like we have about a 24-minute walk. And we're off. Off to Andorra we go. Now, while we're on our way to the bus terminal, it's probably a good time to tell you about the three main ways that people make their way from Barcelona over to Andorra. The first is to rent a car, but unfortunately we don't have a car seat. Uh, so that automatically ruled out that method. That is the fastest and most efficient way to get to Andorra. That being said, we could have rented a car seat. There are a lot oh. of really cool companies that rent baby gear internationally. So we could have done that. Okay, I did not know that. Uh, the second is, train and train is the fastest you've got the high speed rails here um, but it is also the most expensive option i believe if, I mem if memory serves me correctly the train was going to be roughly you know, two to three hundred euros um, i can't remember i can't remember i think it was something like that it was it was pretty pricey um the third option which is the option that we've opted for is the bus the bus takes a little bit longer um, you have two options. One is a direct route that takes a little over three hours. And then you've got another option that makes 30 stops that takes a little over four hours. So clearly we opted for the 30, no, not the 30 stop one. We clearly opted for the direct bus. Um, so when you're booking, you'll definitely want to make sure that you're booking the direct bus route. Um, it was cheap. It was very, very cheap. So round trip was 64 euros each. Um, Dash was included. There's no additional cost. You can bring a bag of up to 66 pounds. Um, so that is definitely the most affordable option. Well, and also it wasn't that much longer to do the bus than the train. Like it was like... It wasn't. Yeah, I think the train was like... Oh gosh, don't quote me on this. I think it was probably around two hours and the bus was three. But you know, for the difference in, in cost and euro, uh, it just made sense. Now, that being said... If, a, if you're familiar with a train system that is super affordable and I just couldn't find it online because that is quite possible, well, I'll be honest with you, um, definitely let me know in a comment below. <laughs> so 
Side of that uh, heavy coat workout for you. Dash buddy, you ready? Are you so excited for today? Yeah. Wanna play hide and seek? Yeah? <laughs> So true story, I sort of remember running through the, this archway here during the marathon, but I was in such excruciating pain that I've like blacked it all out. I was in so much pain at this it point. It was really cool. I ran under it with him. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Actually, I do remember that part. So, um, but yeah, this, I have to look up the archway. Um, Arch the tramp. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Good news, we had a little pep in our step, so we got here a lot earlier than expected, which means we have time for coffee. Alright, now we are ready to go. Travel day is really any fun if we're not running to the bus stop. You bad, it was an information board with the bus in which um, slot was going to be in. So for us, it's 32 headed to Andorra at 10 30. All right, hello, beautiful. Dash is still passed out. Here's the understores, there, plenty of room for the stroller. <laughs> the trip to get to Andorra takes approximately 3 hours and 15 minutes and most of it is through Spain because well Andorra is just that small
like literally seconds ago we just got here. So we made it. Um, I don't even know what to say. Um, Are you gonna take the bus back to you? I need a minute to regain my composure. We're in those mountains and zipping through the mountains like that. Do you get serious motion sickness? I get really, really bad motion sickness. And I was, I was like going to my zen place for at least the last two hours just so I didn't throw up. Because literally, I just felt it like coming up. And I started getting headache and like cold sweats. If you've ever had motion sickness, you know what I'm talking about. I have no, I, we might have just moved to Andorra because I don't know about going back. <laughs> I, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. All the zigzagging, I don't know. I mean, maybe the train wasn't so bad after all. <sighs> oh my, the good news is we're only 15 minute walk away from the hotel, so. And Baby Dash is, he's, he's at 5,000, yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that most of you practically all of you have probably never been to Andorra, and I bet many of you have probably never even heard of it. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, comment down below. But that it's just the channel's obsession: going to teeny tiny little countries so that we can add them to our list. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, this was definitely on my list. Uh, probably in the previous two European trips, but we just weren't able to make it here. So I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to learn a little bit about Andorra while we're here. And uh, and of course, show you around. This is this is why we're doing this. Check this out. This right here, this path, looks to be a pretty solid running trail. So we'll check that out, of course. We've landed ourselves in the main. It looks like the main downtown corridor. Uh, lots of local shops pharmacies, cannabis shops, pretty much everything across the board so far. Um, we'll definitely be checking this out as we're here. Here we go, buddy. Did they say you got the penthouse? <clears throat> I mean, this guy ain't skimping. Okay, so the real story is it was about the same price as the local Airbnbs here to get this hotel. And this hotel was rated like five stars. Um, obviously came with some free combat check-in and the penthouse was a $20 or $30 night upgrade, Pfft, done. So <laughs> we're gonna check that out. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check this out. See what this looks like here. First, look at this little it's like room a room card. It's like wooden, it's really cute. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's see what this looks like here. We're all getting to see it for the first time. Oh, hey now, there's a light switch over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that card in there. Is that how it works? Oh, whoa, let there be light. Okay. Whoa. This bathroom's huge. This is the bathroom? We're getting. 
What? Oh my goodness! <laughs> this bathroom is huge. Look at this. Hers and hers sinks. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Um, there is the bathtub. There's a, a, a towel rack. Looks like it's like a warming towel rack. You've got a walk in. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. We'll skip that for now. Okay. Now I'm gonna let you in on kind of a big secret here. Um, we're living our best life right now in a five-star hotel, but the secret is, it's the off season, exactly. So we're not paying like those super premium, like peak season rates. Um, and honestly, I caught a special at the perfect time and it got to, it was like the, the third night was like a huge amount off and then the upgrade was pretty inexpensive. I think it said it like 20 or 30 bucks to upgrade to the penthouse, Pfft, no brainer, right? Um, so yeah, that's typically how we're living our best life. You see these like amazing places and you're like, they must be so rich. The reality is I booked like a standard room on a package deal and upgraded pretty expensively. So. Gotta show them the view. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, she wanted me to show you this balcony view here. Here we go. We've got our own, oh my goodness. Oh wait, it doesn't open or does it? It does? Okay, I'm just not, oh, there we go, okay. Here we go, I can have some, okay, here we go. So we've got our own balcony here. The view doesn't suck, as you can tell. Nice. Here's your like view of the other side of the patio here. Pretty cool, right? Now, one thing I do want to say is, uh, especially when it comes to Instagram, you see a lot of things and they just look to be absolutely perfect, like just flawless, right? But the reality is it's not always perfect. So I'll give you a good example. Here's a good example. Right outside there of our room, they're doing some construction down below and uh, potentially it could be noisy at night, but you know what though? Pan up, bam, that view makes it worth it, 100%. So the big winner here is Dash, who gets to roam like everywhere here without worrying about bunking his head on the concrete. The tile floor. The tile floor, yeah. So he is like loving this. We get to let him explore all over. He can go wherever he wants. There's plenty of space. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right, Dash? Okay, so true story. This is the first time I think Dash has ever seen a full size mirror. Dash, who is that? Who is that, buddy? Is that you? Yeah? Who's that baby Dash? Is that? He's like, I already know how this works, Dad. <laughs> I already know. Who is that baby? Cool. <laughs> Two dashes on the move. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> He's never seen the full size mirror before. <laughs> True story, uh, we landed here on a Friday, which you'll see in just a handful of hours. Lauren had to dive straight into some video calls. Dash, on the other hand, took a nap. Clearly the travel was just too much for him to handle. Um, and we're just getting up now, but check out how quickly the skyline has changed. It is already starting to look even more beautiful. Check this out. Check out that. Sky, that landscape there. Not skyline, but landscape. It looks like there's a potential skyline coming in here. You can see all of the cranes. So they're clearly doing a ton of construction here. But if you're facing out of our balcony over to the left here is where the sun is going down right now, which means when we wake up in the morning, ideally the sun will be coming up right about there and we will record that for sure. So that should be pretty. Also, Dash wanted to show you his little shiner on his forehead there. Um, because they have big plush carpets and it's kind of like a wooden floor, so it has a lot more give. I've just been letting Dash just explore the entire place. So um, he's been doing really, really well. And I, he's really rare to take his first steps 
Um, he's taking his first steps, and I, I think, like, fully take his first steps, uh, maybe even this weekend, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, he's getting adventurous, as you can see, by the shiner there. He went for it, failed, bonked his head, got up, started trying it again, so, um, that should make for an interesting, interesting weekend. I just got done with my work calls and found out about Daddy letting me down on the job with this shiner. Oopsies. What are we going to do with him? I guess it's inevitable, baby Dash. Oh. He is really excited about moving around, though. There you go. There you go. Good job. Dash, are you getting your Wander Local on? And with all of that excitement, we're going to bring today's video to a close. Till tomorrow, friend, make sure you Wander Local. Because as you know, it's good for the soul.